the successful companies in the internet usually have two or three revenue streams, which is really important in case something goes wrong in one of them. Hi, and welcome to Dog and Pony. I'm Zoriana Kitt. Chuck Davis has been CEO of Fandango.com for two years. He's led the online ticket seller toward massive success, including sale of the business to Comcast. Chuck, welcome to Dog and Pony. Thank you for having me. So since becoming CEO at Fandango, how has the site changed? The site's changed a lot. The history was more of an online ticketing uh, site to go to to get the tickets for a show that you were going to see that Friday or Saturday night. Now it is a heavy content and community site in addition to having movie show times and tickets. So you can get news on stars, on actors, on, on movies that are coming out or movies that are currently playing. You could watch trailers, you could read interviews, and you can get your tickets. How diverse is your revenue platform? The successful companies in the internet usually have two or three revenue streams, which is really important in case something goes wrong in one of them. Mm -hmm. So we, we've already discussed one of them. We have ticket revenue, and, and we share in a piece of that with the movie theaters. But we also have advertising on the site. And for the bulk of people who come and might not even buy a ticket, or if you're buying a ticket, everyone sees ads. Now, what's great about it, the advertising, a lot of them are on movies. Yeah. And the users look at them as content. So that's the perfect mix of being able to have a revenue stream that the user also loves. Now, when you say it's best to have multiple in case one doesn't work, have you found that there were slower years with ticket sales where it was really important that the ad sales pull through? I'm a multimedia guy. I started in the magazine business, worked at Sports Illustrated and Time and TV Guide. And there are years from that industry where I learned that there are certain years the advertising can be soft, but the circulation can be strong or vice versa. So it was very important when I jumped to the internet that I came with a strategy to develop multiple revenue streams. We haven't seen that because this is a new industry. Both are growing. Both are growing fast. Our site in January uh, had 50% more unique visitors than it did a year ago, same month. Mm -hmm. And this is for an industry, the movie industry, that is basically flat year over year. So the consumers are catching on that Fandango is the site to go to for movie content, showtimes, and ticketing. So um, what other plans do you have for Fandango? It's not just building great product, it's building a great work environment mm -hmm. where the employees want to work harder, more innovatively, expand the content, expand the community. We're going to expand the number of theaters. We have over 15,000 theaters that we ticket for, and that number has been going up every year, and we expect that to keep growing. Is that because they come to you or you solicit them? I think because we're the largest at what we do, there's kind of a scale advantage or a critical mass that is formed and consumers say, hey, I can't, uh, you need more theaters or I, I'm trying to find this theater and they go to the theater. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like a cable company being lobbied to add more yeah. networks. Comcast bought Fandango earlier this year, so we're very proud that we were able to find a parent and a family that is a good fit for Fandango. So we're getting lots of avails on television to help uh, get our brand awareness out there, not just the direct response and the marketing and the search engine marketing and everything else. I haven't seen a brand like this online that has such penetration. Over 90% of the traffic on Fandango comes to it for free. Most sites on the web, uh, I would say they spend 70 to 90 percent of their traffic they have to buy. That is a complete reversal of, of the standard that's out there, and that speaks to the brand. So do you consider yourself an innovative business person? I'm part of the adult supervision in the Internet because I'm considered an old guy in the Internet. I'm in my upper 40s. So I might be innovative, but... Um, but I really just keep my head down and try and build great products and build great teams. Chuck Davis, CEO of Fandango, thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. If you have questions, comments, or ideas for guests, please email info at dogandpony.com. I'm Zoriana Kitt. Thanks for watching. <laughs>